What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Jr. You're watching the Rage and Rona review. I got a review for you. I checked out Marini's Black Bottom on Netflix. This is a historical drama. Actually, it's a historical musical drama uh, that is uh, showing exclusively on Netflix. It is an Oscar contender. And Shadwick Boseman stars in this film. This is his final performance. And one of the main reasons why I want to check that out, check this film out, was because of that. And also the fact that it's an Oscar, con Oscar contender. And I actually didn't know what this movie was about at all. I just wanted to check it out because it's an Oscar contender. And Sh Shadwick Boseman is in it. Now, I've only seen Shadwick Boseman in the, the Marvel movies and also 21 Bridges. But I love him as an actor, the character he plays, and also as a human being. I definitely wanted to check this film out, as, especially it being a, um, a, his last performance. And I don't know anything about this subject matter. I don't know anything about like the, the truth, like this, this person, Ma Rainey. Um, I, I don't know anything about like this story at all. It, it's basically a retelling of a true story of these, these this jazz band. And Ma Rainey is played by by Viola Davis, by the way, puts on a great performance as the title character. Let's talk about performances. Shadwick Boseman. Like I said before, I've only seen him play the King of Wakanda. I've seen him play a cop in 21 Bridges. This is his best performance to date. Okay, he, he's, he's really something. And it really shows you that this is an actor with range. Because he really, like, I don't know what this character was like in real life, but if anything, he definitely did this character justice. There's just so much charm and charisma and power in his acting. Uh, there's a lot of these, there, there's moments in this film where it's just all him, like full on monologues. And he just nails it. He just, you know, you want to watch this movie for his performance. That's essentially why I was watching this movie for his performance. The thing about this movie is that, you know, it's, it, it's, it's like what I've just talked about is great and all. The thing is that it doesn't actually establish what, what the end goal is really. So they're trying to record this song and they have a hard time recording this song because nobody can agree on anything. So that's the whole movie. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, where are we going with this? Like, where are we trying to go with, with what we got? Okay, what is it? And I don't know. I'm essentially watching performers perform. They're given a blueprint, and we just see them go with it. And Viola Davis, and Shadwick Boseman, and all the other cast members, they do an excellent job. They really, really do. It shows you what it was like during that era, but besides that, I don't really understand what is the end goal. Like, where, what is the, um, I see the conflict, but I don't see the, uh, the, 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 the climax, you know, and the conclusion. I don't really know what that was besides the fact that they recorded a song and they, they, um, they figured out their differences. I don't, because they're always disagreeing. And they disagree for a very, very long time, okay? So there's just a lot of disagree, and they just can't seem to get this song done, recorded, okay? And and it, it kind of feels a little bit annoying because they've established, like they say that we just want this song recorded. So let's get it done, but nobody... Oh, anyways, that part's a little bit annoying. But you know what? I'll still say that. You know, I, I, uh, for what it's worth, I enjoyed it, but I didn't, it's not because I enjoyed the whole movie, the movie as a whole. I enjoyed it for the performances. I enjoyed watching Viola Davis. She was awesome in this. I, th I think she might've gotten a nominee nomination. I hope, I hope she gets a nomination for this, but Shadwick Boseman was on fire. Okay. So because of that, I'm going to give it a, um, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. And it's because of these two powerhouse actors' performances. They were on, they were so, they were on fire, okay? Uh, the rest of it was okay. 
Um, I like the I like that they captured the era of the film. They did a great job. Production design, direction, um, and uh, that's about it. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Not a not a film that I need to revisit ever again. I'm glad I watched it though. That is Chadwick Boseman's final performance, and he just brought it home with this one. All right, so there you have it. Seven out of ten. My name is Alex. See you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.